Hi everyone, this is Corrie. Today I'm going to show you how to put the iris shutter together. This is a slightly different video um, than my other iris shutter. I have one which has a short handle, this one has the longer handle. And it's just got one extra step really. It's not that difficult compared to the other one. But I just thought it was worth showing you. So we have two of these with the holes in. And we're going to start by adding this beacon three in one to attach those together to make them stronger. Okay, and then we're going to take these two with uh, no holes and do exactly the same. Now this is um, craft board. If you were using craft board, you might not need to use two of those. Craft board is uh, fantastically strong, but I have lots of different colors of card um, and they're varying weights. Um, and I just thought maybe if we're using a longer handle, it might be better to just double up on uh, the strength of the handle. We don't want it to break. So we're just gonna um, put those two together like that. Make sure your arrows are aligned. And then the tutorial from here is basically the same as the other Irish shutter that I made, if you've already um, watched that one. We're going to start with this mushroom area pointing up and we're just going to poke these holes in at the bottom and then pinch them together. So it looks like that. And we're going to do the same with all three. So the next step is to poke these through the hole and then bend them down almost like um, a brad or a paper fastener. Okay, that's those all done. It should look like this. Okay, next I'm going to take this piece with uh, the holes in this direction, not that way, this way. And we're basically going to thread through those, I suppose they look like little mushrooms, uh, thread those through the holes. Okay, so then I'm going to turn it over and then I'm going to take this circle with the handle that has no holes. I'm going to attach it to the back of this area that we, that we poked the paper brads through, I suppose we could call them. Avoid any of the areas with um, the brads poking through, the hole areas. We don't want any glue on the holes or um, in the mechanism or anything like that. Again, line up your arrows as best you can, like that. Obviously, it's best if you leave all these things to dry a bit longer than I am here. I'm just trying to get the tutorial done so I can show you nice and quickly. So, it should look like this. You can bend these in. And then the next step is to bend these arms in. And you want it to be slightly loose, like you don't want it to be super tight to allow movement. So if you just kind of, let me show you, you just kind of bend it like that and then push it back a little so there's room to maneuver. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take one of the circles and place it there and then I'm going to put glue 
just along these edges, just at the edge. And then I'll fold them in. Okay. And at this point, you can just check that it's working all okay. Okay. Obviously, it needs a bit more time to dry. But you can see that it's working now. So, um, once you've turned it over, you then need to attach the final circle. Again, um, glue just in this area. Avoid these moving parts and the handle. And that is the finished Irish shutter. As I said, leave it to dry a little bit longer than this before you start playing around with it. Um, but I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Any problems, please message me. Thanks a lot now. Bye.